Hey there, welcome back to Tony's Auto Works and Off-Road. Today I'm going to be installing a new grill on my 2007 Toyota 4Runner. I got this sponsored by Car Sponsors and SRQ Fabrications. They uh, have a lead time of three weeks on these. You can have them uh, manufacture this. Uh, I got the black grill with the silver letters and the TRD stripes. Uh, everything else that you get in the package, you get a uh, package with instructions, a sticker, and uh, you get a little bag of hardware. I'm going to show you how to install this, uh, how to take off your stock grill and put on the new one. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do here is we're going to remove these 10 millimeters up here, and then we're also going to remove this bracket that holds the uh, the button that opens the hood you got to take that off as well so let's go ahead and get those done so it will be a 10 millimeter so grab yourself a ratchet and 10 millimeter socket Once you remove these nuts up here and you remove the bolts from the metal bracket on the grill from your uh, hood release button, I like to uh, put one of the bolts in a little further than the other so I know which side goes on which side. So we're going to finish taking these out and then I'll show you the next step. Also. This little plastic piece here goes in here like this and then wraps around. You just want to make sure you keep track of that. Now you see this metal bracket right here. This piece needs to be removed from your stock grill. It's Phillips head all the way around. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you'll want to remove this. Now you want to take the packaging that you got your grill in, lay it down, and put the new grill on top of it so you don't scratch the front. Now, we can go ahead and lay this in here. Then go ahead and put all your screws in. I would start from the bottom, especially if yours is kind of bent like mine is. taking stuff out of the old grill you want to make sure you keep these pieces now these pieces you're going to see they're going to bolt to this and this piece is going to be outwards towards the outside of the grill and this one is going to do the same on the other side Make sure before you put this bracket on, you remove the nut on this stud here and on the other side. And before you mount this grill up, you have to remove these nuts as well. These here are going to be 8 millimeter. Take mind that these only go in one way here, so you'll you'll find the little slot that the prong goes into. They're only going to go in one way. Make sure you've got all your screws tightened up and your nuts off of these studs here, and then you go ahead and mount it up on the uh, on the hood. Now you'll see in the package of hardware, you've got some nuts in here that you can use for these or all of them. 
Um, I, you can save your old ones for these if you want, or you can use the new ones in here. Uh, whatever works for you. Get all these tightened down. Now these studs here in the back of the grill, as you can see there's the front of the grill, these studs in the back of the grill, I highly recommend you use washers with them because they got that little slip there. Now that you have all of your uh, nuts tightened down up here and over here, now you want to bit want to get on re, uh, reattaching this uh, piece here you'll grab that plastic thing I showed you earlier now you've got this clip on this side it's going to go right through there like that and then you'll pull the other side over like so Make sure it fits in there the way it did on the uh, old, uh, when you took it off. And then go ahead and reattach this. And uh, as long as you made sure you uh, remembered which side this was on, you're good to go. And I did. That's why I put one bolt in a little further than the other. Now all of these nuts up here are going to be eight millimeter, but everything else is ten millimeter. Make sure the metal bracket goes behind the piece that is mounted to the grill. That was my installation of the TRD grill on the 2007 Toyota 4Runner. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps someone out. I hope you check out my other videos and check out the description for some discount codes. And you can go to srqfabrications.com to get this bumper or this grill right here. I think it looks fantastic. Um, and I'm glad I did the stripes too. You can also do uh, Toyota stripes, I believe. The red, uh, yellow, and orange. Uh, either way, uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.